Chapter 1. Zoom in effect. Place the playhead at the beginning of the video, make a keyframe, now drag the playhead to the end of the track and just zoom in on the slider, and the keyframe will be made by itself. This is like zooming throughout the video and in the middle of it, but in the next effect we will zoom in a certain part of the video, but the animation will be faster. Click on the video and make a keyframe, but click both position and size together to get the animation right because two factors are at play, it's not just zoom. We did the animation by panning and zooming in the certain part of the video, but now be careful we're going to make the animation slide in a way, if you don't do it right it won't look good. Choose one of these options, but you must put it in all the X, Y and position and scale parameters. I put the ease in option on all the parameters that are included in this video, except for the rotation option because it is not used at all in this video, if you don't do it that way you will get an error as shown a little while ago. I chose that option but you can choose which one you want, it just has to be for all the movements in the video if they are included in the same one, if for example you only zoom you can usually only put that option on a scale. This helps to make the animation slide just like the stone ball slide and stop slowly in the curling game. Zoom out is done in the same way but I didn't record it because the principle is the same. Chapter 2 Rotating The procedure is the same as the previous ways, only this you will go to the rotation section to rotate the video, I did it so that the whole video rotates less, but it can also be done for added elements of a video to animate such as a wheel etc, depending on your video you will see how to do it. For more precision you can modify the keyframes in the animate keyframe section. Don't miss the next effect where we animate an element to move and rotate, you've seen this type for sure on the internet. 